Welcome! This is a quick start video tutorial of 9092 online. In this video you will learn how to design the floor plan, save your project, placing items with attachments and links, to see the 3D image of your project, close and load it. For further information you can always access the help system by pressing the F1 button on your keyboard. We start by choosing the new project option. It brings up the catalog selection dialog with the available catalog groups. In this dialog you can choose the preferred catalog groups to use in our project. So we select the Kitchen 2012 group which contains the following catalogs. We press OK or Cancel to continue with the default choices. Now we are ready to draw the floor plan. The cursor appears as a pencil and by left clicking we start the designing of the walls. Right on the control panel we can fill in the wall dimensions in the corresponding fields. All dimensions refer in millimeters. By pressing the button Enter it starts draw the next wall. To connect with first wall click the start point and then to stop wall design function press the escape button on your keyboard. At this point we can save the project. Left click the home icon and then select save project and name it my first project. Now we are ready to place the items. We are going to start with the structural elements, for example windows, doors and columns. In the control panel we can see the groups of catalogs that we had chosen at the beginning. Manage the catalog groups and items from the control panel on the right side of screen based on the Windows Explorer management. Double left click or enter to open a category Escape to close it and return to previous step or select the preferred category from the address bar. So, we double click on the group structural elements in order for the item categories to appear. Select window subcategory and windows again and more specifically the item Inox frame. We drag and drop it on floor plan and place it between the dotted lines and the first wall in a specific distance from the floor and the right side of wall. At this point it is useful to note that we can place, edit or translate items either on floor plan, 2D selection or on 3D, perspective, elevation, top view. Keeping pressed the left or the right mouse button on the project we can translate, rotate or focus the camera to adjust the image. We can alternate the selection of status by pressing the respective icon. We will place now the kitchen items. Select the group Kitchen 2012 and open the catalog kitchen. We found a rich item collection in the 1992 libraries, all sorted in specific categories. Here we can view all item categories available. We are going to place the base units, so we double click the respective category. We first put the item in the corner of the first and second wall. So, we open the category Corner Base Units and select an item from the category Rectangular. We place it near the corner of first and second wall by left clicking there. Let's put the base units on the first wall. From the general category Base Units select Sync Units. Open the preferred category and select the item in dimension you want. From the category Base Units we choose the subcategory Washing Machines. Select the item with controls at width 45. From the general category Kitchen, select the subcategory Semicolumns from where we will select a hob unit. Then from the subcategory Columns, we will select and place the refrigerator. Now we will place the base units on the second wall. From the category Base Units, we select Drawers plus Deep Drawers and place the item with width 90. We place two identical items on the same wall. We will change category and from base units select the subcategory door and place an item. Moving on now to display the elevation of the second wall and place the wall units there. Hover the mouse over the wall and then press elevation icon. From kitchen catalog select wall units. Then select a category with aluminium glass lift up door and place the item in width 90 above this base unit. 
To place it accurately above this item, select the marker and left clicking it. We will place one more same item above this base unit. From the category Lift Up Door, select the item with one door height 72 and place it from the left of glass door. Place one more same item in this place. Then you will place the hood. From the appliances catalog select metallic hood. Select an item and left clicking on the wall to place it. Finally we are going to place the hot plates on top of a base unit. So we right click on it and select attachments. From the appliances catalog we select hoods for unit 90 and more specifically the code 3. Press Add and then OK. Now we will save our project. To close it, click on Home icon and select Close Active Project. To open the project, click on Home icon and select Load Project. You can find the saved project in the default save location, which is the folder Jobs. So, our project appears like this.